you tell you know who are you and what do you do uh, I'm just brew. I, uh, I watch bad television and take the piss out of it. It's generally the thing. There's like news roundups, but uh, no. E Before I had a YouTube channel, I always watched terrible TV. Like I watched all of the Arrowverse. I've even finished The Flash and Supergirl, all the CW series, and I don't even know why. So uh, at least now I get to put it to good use. <laughs> I just actually make <laughs> videos out of it. Wow, you watched... Okay, so I stopped watching The Flash when... Everybody when, should have stopped watching when, The Flash. When, I when don't know I, why I didn't. You're crazy, man. When Iris yeah. and Barry got married and they had the bachelorette <sighs> party and then they're like, hashtag feminism. I, that's where I checked out. That's the, why the, I stopped I, watching. It's always the, the it gets me when the line, uh, they kind of saved the universe. And he's like, uh, what was it? It's, the Flash saved us. He's like, no, we're the Flash, Barry. It's like, no, you've done nothing. You just happened to stood next to him for a bit. And now you're going, no, we're the Flash. You don't have superpowers. You're a nobody. Oh, what was it? Iris. And the, the, the best Flash episode was when Barry wasn't there for a week. So you had like the girl power crew, completely evil. Like all of, just pure evil that entire episode. They had a woman who was going around killing people and they just let her off. They were just like, ah, oh, you can join us now, it's fine. It's like, no, she's been killing people. What do you mean? It's like, oh, I had a bad childhood. That just, what? Oh, that, that episode. I think that was one of my first videos because I was so amazed at what I was watching that they were literally pushing just pure evil as the heroes and then barry came back and everyone was good again it was like okay th th you need him in charge great did you ever watch uh flash no on only like the first two episodes then i it's probably some more more games or more uh shows came out that i preferred uh watching or playing so i never really got that far yeah yeah it, but you you would have understood the entire series after two episodes because every single week it was just like have you considered running really quickly to solve this problem and that was all he ever did he just ran fast and then if he couldn't <laughs> defeat a problem by running fast they invented something to make him run even faster and that was the only thing that happened through all of the series yeah it's just literally run barry run is i have mm -hmm. how can i run uh, faster right and you can yeah, run it's... faster barry i believe in you they even referred to it as like leveling up whenever he got a power boost is that like, okay fine <laughs> uh, uh, yeah i i i am flabbergasted that you will put, will you put yourself through all that terrible TV shit? yeah <laughs> well i used to i used to watch it on like a side monitor while i was gaming so I, I wasn't going to sit there and focus on this thing because I don't think that's what... C I've always thought of CWTV as like ironing television. It is literally designed for you to be doing some kind of housework with it on the TV, just kind of half paying attention. So I just did the same thing, but with gaming. Uh, and you can get through a lot of television if you game a lot. <laughs> and you do that. <laughs> so yeah. um, that that's actually amazing. Like The fact that you also... Just went through Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the other thing. I am a bit of a completionist. So, like, I started. And, yeah. I At least the current series, I was making videos, so I kind of stuck with it. I have no reason. I, I don't even know why I stuck with... Um, I can't even remember her name. Jodie Whittaker. I have no idea why I stuck through those series. I The, the, the Flux series. I watched the entire thing. I don't know what happened. I don't even know what that series was about, and I've seen the thing, but I couldn't, I couldn't explain it to anybody. It was like, oh, the universe is being destroyed. But then she met, like, a god or time or something, and it was her, and I'm like, I I'm so confused. She kind of like, popped out of a box or something at the end, I think it was. I, I, no, I, I literally couldn't explain it. It was wild. But, yeah. but no, uh, I, I think the last series of Doctor Who was literally the worst series of television I've ever seen. Definitely the worst finale. This was a guy who couldn't even bother to write a story for his own finale. And his story was, you cared about the story, but lol joke, there isn't one. It was, it was so wild. So would you consider it worse than the Jodie Whittaker? Uh, like, the finale. The, the, the yeah. Doctor Who finale is the worst finale I've ever seen. Because at least everyone else tries to wrap it up. They try and do something. He couldn't be bothered. He couldn't be bothered to write a story for his finale. It, I've never seen anything that low. Um, but for the rest of it, yes. Because I think... She, I think her series were just bad, whereas his series were just a actively spiteful and actively hateful. Like, there was one episode where um, a load of people died literally because they were too racist to be saved. 
Uh, they, they, the, the doctor, I'm not joking, the doctor is literally standing there pleading with them. He's like, you can come, just, the, my box is there, my spaceship, you can just get in the spaceship, you'll be saved. If you go out there, you'll die. And she's like, I can't be seen in your company. Talking to you on the phone is one thing, but... I can't be seen with you. And so she walks out and dies. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> then then there was another episode where he got his partner killed um, because he was too busy trying to bang a bloke in a building over there. He knew she was in a, in a building with aliens that wanted to kill everybody. Didn't care. Too busy trying to get his end away with this fancy man. And the only reason she survived is because this fancy man sacrificed his own life to save her. The Doctor stood there and cried, which he did every single episode. He never solved anything. I, I actually worked out right. The Doctor, at no point the entire series, saved a single person. Somebody else came in and saved the day every single time. What he did, he would stand there and cry. Someone would feel sorry for him and they'd save them. It was that's, ridiculous. That's insane. Like, mm -hmm. how how far uh, Doctor Who has fallen. Like, I, I never made it all the way to Capaldi. Like, I stopped with Matt Smith. Like I didn't I even get to good, the... that's a good one. You you had the best ones. Okay. Yeah. Like I, I didn't even get to the part where he regenerated. Like I'll, I think the last thing I probably saw was there was like a girl that was stuck in like a like underground box or something like that, some kind of tube or something. And then they have to like rescue her, and she was th there for like a while. I forgot she had like brown hair. It might have been Capaldi's companion. I'm not sure, but uh, I yeah I, I didn't get to finish it. But uh, I do want to ask. So uh, I how think Capal Capaldi was one of the best doctors. He just mm -hmm. had terrible scripts. So it, uh, it, it wasn't his fault. He has some good episodes, but it's like him lifting poor work above where it belongs. Wow. So I do want to ask, and how, how did you sort of like get in touch with like, like Gary FNT and now like, you know, and now that you, you're like a permanent like co-host for FNT, like how, how did you and Gary meet and like, how did you meet like the entire fellowship? Oh, that was kind of... um that just kind of happened naturally because I, I was watching Gary and Az uh, before I was making videos. Um, I was watching uh, Gary because of his Doctor Who stuff that was happening at the time. And Az, the Batwoman videos were where I found him. I, Az was the weird one, actually, because for ages, I never clicked any of his videos because I literally saw his thumbnails with the whiteboard. I'm like, these look ridiculous. There's no way I'm clicking on them. But they kept appearing in my feed. And in the end, I tried them. <laughs> and it was like, they, they were interesting thumbnails because they could put you off. But once you realize you liked his channel, you instantly recognizable. And so probably had quite a good, a high click rate mm -hmm. once you got to know the channel, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the bit, the, I think the first time anyone would have heard of it was there was a Lord of the Rings video with... They, they ha where they had the, all the super fans and they went into that castle. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And they, oh. they showed them the previews. Well, yeah. I had like a second half of a video, but I didn't have an introduction. And so I started looking at other Amazon versions of the same trailer and noticed that they were all the same. Like all the super fan videos were identical, they just had different yeah. people. And yeah. so all the reactions were fake they would walk up to a thing and they'd all be like oh this is amazing and you don't even know what they're looking at once you realize that it's all fake and scripted and the supposed fan reactions which are supposed to be realistic things are as fake as the show is kind of thing um and so i put that together as the introduction and then uh the quartering put that in his video i don't even know how we saw the video because i was tiny at the time but somehow we saw it like almost immediately as i posted it made a video about it and that kind of kicked my channel off and that topic and that video went out. So I remember I saw Drinker talking about it at the time. I think, uh, yeah, Gary definitely saw it. I'm not sure who else saw it. But that was kind of probably the first time anyone had seen the videos. And then I think as I kept on with Lord of the Rings stuff, then I was invited on Drinker's channel. And it just kind of went off from there. That once they've seen the stuff and you kind of start growing... Um, I You'd have to ask them why I ended up on their channels, but that that would have been the moment where, like, the first video I think anyone saw, really. Yeah, I remember uh, when we had Gary on, and, and, and Gray remembers this, too. Like, we, like, um, Gary was mentioning, like, he's, like, Disbrew is our, like, like, substitute. Whenever we need him, mm. it's like, we bring him on. And then when we heard yeah, that Az was, was like, it was like, rip Az. I'm like, what? Wait, what? What's going on, right? I'm like, wait, wait, where's yeah. he going? What's happening? And it's like, oh, he's no longer going to be uh, part of FMT anymore. And then I'm like, oh, okay, so he's probably doing his own stuff. And then when when they announced you're going to be on, we're like, oh, that makes sense. It's just like he, you're there already. So 
for, for the <laughs> FND part uh, specifically, yeah, I uh, I had quite a few messages like on the same day as FND from uh, X Ray Girl going, "Are you free this week?" <laughs> so, so sometimes I was, sometimes I wasn't. Um, but yeah, I I didn't know that. I was going to replace that. Like, literally, I, I knew what everybody else did. Um, oh. I, the first time I heard it was I was watching the show, and as said he was leaving, and then Gary just randomly shouted out, Disbrew will be in contact. That was when I found out. <laughs> like, so I, I didn't know as was leaving or anything. Um, and then I think somebody said, oh, no, X-Ray Girl had mentioned that it had been in the pipeline for a while, but she couldn't tell me. And so mm. it, it, it was like... Apparently, everyone had planned it, but I know I found out literally the same time everyone else live on a stream. So, yeah, I, it, for for me, I couldn't think of a better person. Um, I, yeah, I, I, you, you fit right in, and like it's this, you, you're Look, a fountain of like knowledge and everything. I've been watching FNT since as crossed over into it, because I remember that I used to watch Gary's uh, videos, but I, I never watched the live streams. I don't think I've watched many live streams at all on YouTube at the time. Now I watch loads. Um, but yeah, when as switched over, it was either his first week or his second week. No, yeah, it, I, I, I started watching it when he did. And so the first time I ever saw Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers was during the massive argument he had with Az that went on for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was my first my first kind of introduction. <laughs> it was just a, it was a massive war over something that I didn't care about at all. I, I didn't care what Filoni was doing. Because oh, that's man. always been my thing with TV, actually. Um, I don't want to know who makes the television. And I, if I know who your name is, you've probably done something wrong. Because it means I had to look you up for some reason. I, I just want to judge the show, watch the show, enjoy it, and move on. I don't want to know who the directors are or anything else like that. It doesn't really interest me. Mm. Uh, and it, I find it's only when, like, who's ruined this? <laughs> mm. Do I tend to learn the names? So, like, if I know the name Leslie Headland, something's gone horribly wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's um, I the 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 thing is like I I knew of you or, um already, but Gray is the ones like I've been watching a lot of Disbrew's video. Like he has a lot of good points. Like we were thinking, Gray was probably thinking like, oh, maybe we should start doing like Batwoman stuff. It's because it sounds really bad. And then I'm like, <laughs> because I watched Disbrew's video, I'm like, what? Do you want to do Batwoman? He's like, I I, I I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you uh. Gray, like, do you remember that? That's the, I think that's might have been like early on when we started. Yeah, yeah, probably very. Did I mention that? I, 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 my, I would have done it after Batwoman. Uh, maybe Gotham Knights, though. That was that was a, um, a Batman kind of show. That, that's the kind of situation you're dealing with in Hollywood, right? They come out with a Batman show. First thing they do, kill Batman. Then they have all the children of all the superheroes and get them together. So you've got, like, the son of Batman, who is basically a worse Batman. Then you've got the son of the... the daughter of the Joker, who's basically a worse Joker. It was... I don't know why we're making TV shows about the inferiors of the people everybody else wants. It's... it's stupid. Yeah, but that... that's a wild story, man. Like, he hearing that, like, sort of quartering and how, how, how you got to where you are. I believe you're, like, over 200,000? Yeah, it's like two hundred and fifty something at the moment. I think that's awesome, dude. Like, yeah, that's, you know that, that that that's huge. But let's talk about. Oh yeah, go go. You you, you want to say something? Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. yeah, it was it was just with regards to doing like um, the the content of bad television. It's really low hanging fruit, but it's so funny. Like the, so there's some of them which are just there's like bad television, but then there's like the acolyte where it's bad but also hilarious, and and that's kind of. I, I do think you need a disposition for it. Um but if if that if you're if you're into that kind of thing, if like cringe television it is something that you enjoy, it, they are good fun videos to do. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.